let's draw the second component of our universal coupling so our second component is 4 so here some dimensions are mentioned in the front view and the remaining dimensions are mentioned in the top view okay. so these are the two views of the 4 okay. so this is the cross sectional view how to identify whether it is a cross sectional view or not whenever there is a hatched portion it mentioned that it is a cross sectional view it denotes the hatched portion means a shader portion the shader portion denotes the, there is a material so the blank portion denotes it is a hole okay. so he, this is the cross sectional view let us draw the front view okay. so go to solidworks file new part ok select the front plane and sketch it so here I am going to draw the rectangle of 10 mm and throat height that is 88 mm because th this distance is 56 plus 16 plus 16 16 plus 16 that is 32 32 plus 56 that is 88 mm so 10 into 88 mm rectangle I am going to draw okay. so go to center rectangle and draw a rectangle go to small dimension here the height is 88 mm let us this distance is 10 mm so 10 into 88 mm ok exit sketch extrude this component this extrude distance is mentioned in the top view so here it is 50 mm extrude is there so go to dimension that is 57 ok once it finished next thing we have to draw the section at the top so there is a section at the top so which is extruded at a distance of 16 mm the section shown like this so which is mentioned in the top view so go to sketch and select the top face of the component press space bar and go to normal so here draw the circle draw one circle of radius the radius of circle is 15 mm so draw one circle of radius 15 mm and the center distance between the circle so which is mentioned here so from the center of the circle to up to this section the distance is 18 mm so go to small dimension from here to up to the circle center the distance is 18 mm next thing we have to connect the top end till the circle that is up to the tangent so up to this point so you can change it once you have completed the line after that you can constrain the diagram also so just i am pressing the line finishing the line here so and select the circle and this line by pressing the control here the tangent is there so we can constrain early or otherwise we can constrain later okay. so connect these two end then only it is a finished sketch here the this semicircle is the unwanted portion so we can trim this section now it is a finished sketch I am going to draw the circle at the middle here there is one hole so draw one circle at the middle of diameter 16 mm pi denotes it is a diameter diameter 16 means radius of circle is 8 so draw one circle of radius 8 next thing we have to extrude this component so go to feature and extrude it so opposite direction our extrude distance is 16 mm so here you can change the dimension that is 16 mm ok next thing we have to draw the same portion at the bottom so in our diagram the same portion is there at the bottom the same 16 mm extrusion so no need to draw the entire section once again 
so only thing we have to mirror it so this is our section so we have to mirror this section to the bottom so based on the center plane here the top plane is at the middle so select that plane and ok so this is our section next thing we have to draw the portion at the left end so here go to sketch and sketch select the left portion so press space bar and go to normal tool draw the circle at the middle so here the circle center point and draw one circle of diameter which is mentioned 55 mm so half of it is the radius so here 55 divided by 2 so 1 mm gap is there at the both end yeah. so here the distance is 57 mm there is a circle this diameter is 55 mm 1 mm gap is there at both end okay. we have to extrude this circle to a certain distance so the distance which is given in the problem so that is the throw distance is 48 mm this 10 mm distance we have already completed okay. so our first rectangle is this 10 mm into 88 mm this dimension we have completed so the throw distance is 48 mm whereas the 10 mm is we have completed so the remaining distance is 38 mm so the 38 mm extrusion next thing we have to cut the hole in the middle so here 30 mm diameter hole is there which is for the shaft so the shaft is placed inside this hole so we have to cut the 30 mm diameter hole so go to sketch go to sketch sketch so sketch view draw one circle at the middle so draw one circle of diameter 30 mm so that the radius is 15 mm 15 mm radius exit sketch so cut the circle so that it's a extrude cut so throw cut okay next thing we have to draw we have to cut the keyway yeah. so the keyway distance is 8 into 4 so go to sketch sketch and select this space space bar press space bar and go to normal tool so here just like the key i am going to draw the so just like in case of the shaft i am going to draw the one center rectangle here so center rectangle of distance 8 into 8 go to small dimension here the distance is 8 mm and this distance also 8 mm then only we will get the 4 mm cut so ok so go to feature and extrude cut you have to cut the portion up to this end this is our keyway yeah. so this is our 4 let's save this component so go to save so go to our folder this is the 4 so save it 